In our previous video, we learned that to find the least square solution to a times x equals b, we solved the equation a transpose a times x equals a transpose b. In this video, we're going to look at some alternative ways to find the least square solutions if we know additional information about the matrix A. For example, if we know that the columns of A are orthogonal, then finding the least square solution is very easy. Also, if we know the QR factorization for A, then we can find the least square solution more efficiently. So first we're going to look at what we do when the columns of A are orthogonal. So if the columns of A are orthogonal, then we know that the columns form an orthogonal basis for the column space of A. So from our previous video, we learned that the least square solution x hat is obtained by solving the equation A times x equals B hat, where B hat was the projection of B onto the column space of A. In general, finding the vector B hat takes a lot of work. First, you would need to find a basis for the column space of A. Then you would need to use the Gram-Schmidt process to make the basis an orthogonal basis. Then once you have an orthogonal basis, you can do the projection. Now, if we know that the columns of A are orthogonal, then we can do the projection right away. Let's take a look at an example. So here we're asked to find the least square solution to A times X equals B, where A is the matrix 1, negative 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, and B is the vector negative 4, 4, 6. So again, one way of finding the least square solution is by solving the equation a times x equals b hat. So first, we would need to find b hat. Remember that b hat is the projection of b onto the column space of a. Now since a is orthogonal, the column space of a has an orthogonal basis composed of its columns. So let's call the vector 111v1 and the vector negative 101 v2. Then this projection of b onto the column space of a can be computed by doing b dot v1 divided by v1 dot v1 times the vector v1 plus b dot v2 divided by v2 dot v2 times the vector v2. So we have b dot v1 which is negative 4 times 1 plus 4 times 1 plus 6 times 1 divided by v1 dot v1. So that's 1 squared plus 1 squared plus 1 squared times the vector v1, which is 1, 1, 1, plus b dot v2. So that's negative 4 times negative 1 plus 4 times 0 plus 6 times 1 divided by v2 dot v2. So that's negative 1 squared plus 0 squared plus 1 squared, times the vector v2, so that's negative 1, 0, 1. Simplifying this, we have 2 times the vector 1, 1, 1, plus 5 times the vector negative 1, 0, 1. So that's 2, 2, 2, plus negative 5, 0, 5, or negative 3, 2, 7. So b hat, the projection of b onto the column space of a, is the vector negative 3, 2, 7. So now, if I want to find the least squares solution to a times x equals b, I want to solve the equation a times x equals b hat. So that's the matrix 1, 1, 1, negative 1, 0, 1, times x equals b hat, which is negative 3, 2, 7. To solve this, you might make an augmented matrix and row reduce but it turns out you don't need to do that at all. If we look at the left-hand side of the equation, we have a times x. If I write x as the vector x1, x2, then the multiplication would be x1 times the vector 1, 1, 1, plus x2 times the vector negative 1, 0, 1, equals negative 3, 2, 7. So the solution x1, x2 are the weights to the linear combination of negative 3, 2, 7 in terms of the vectors 1, 1, 1 and negative 1, 0, 1. But we figured those weights out already. If we look here in the projection of b onto the column space of a, we found that b hat was 2 times 1, 1, 1 plus 5 times negative 1, 0, 1. So that tells me already that x1 is equal to 2 and x2 is equal to 5. 
So the least square solution x hat is the vector 2, 5. So in general, if you have a matrix A with orthogonal columns, then the least square solution will be the weights in the projection of B onto the column space of A. So they are B dot V1 divided by V1 dot V1 and B dot V2 divided by V2 dot V2 and so forth. I also want to point out that it's not uncommon that the matrix A has orthogonal columns. You'll see that a lot when you're working with linear regressions. So now let's look at how to find least square solutions when we have a QR factorization for the matrix A. So recall that if A is an M by N matrix, a QR factorization for A is writing A as a product of a matrix Q and R where Q is an M by N matrix consisting of columns that form an orthonormal basis for the column space of A, and R is an N by N invertible upper triangular matrix. So again, one way of finding the least square solutions to A times X equals B is to solve the equation A transpose A times X equals A transpose B. Now let's substitute in QR for A. So we have QR transpose times QR times X is equal to QR transpose times B. Now, when you have a product of matrices and you take the transpose, that can be rewritten as R transpose Q transpose times Q times R times X equals, again, R transpose times Q transpose times B. A theorem that we've proved previously tells us that if Q is a matrix with orthonormal columns, then Q transpose times Q is just the identity matrix. So on the left we have R transpose R times X is equal to R transpose Q transpose times B. Now since R is invertible, R transpose is also invertible, so I can multiply both sides of this equation by R transpose inverse on the left. That leaves me with R times X is equal to Q transpose times B. So if we have a QR factorization for the matrix A, then to find the least squared solution, we just solve R times X equals Q transpose times B. Now solving this is going to be more efficient than solving A transpose A times X equals A transpose B because R is an upper triangular matrix. And when you have a triangular matrix, the number of operations that you need to perform to row reduce it is a lot fewer. So let's look at the following example. Here we want to find the least square solution to A times X equals B where A is 1, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, negative 1, negative 1, negative 4, 0, 1, negative 4. And B is the vector 7, 4, negative 7, negative 3. In our QR factorization video, we saw that the QR factorization for this matrix A is the following. So again, to find the least square solution, we want to solve the equation R times X equals Q transpose times B. When we write in the matrices, we have the following. Multiplying out Q transpose times B, we get on the right hand side here 6 square root of 3, negative square root of 3, and square root of 6. So now to solve the system, we make the augmented matrix root 3, 2 root 3, 3 root 3, 6 root 3, 0 root 3, negative 2 root 3, negative root 3, 0, 0 root 6, root 6. Again, since R is a triangular matrix, this is easy to reduce. So when we row reduce this, we get 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. So my solution is x hat equals the vector 1, 1, 1. Now, working with the QR factorization can be a bit messy when doing things by hand. Since the columns of Q are orthonormal, you typically see a lot of square roots in the matrices. However, a computer can work with these numbers just fine. What's important to a computer is how many operations you need to compute. And when you have a QR factorization, the number of operations you need to do goes down quite a bit. So that's why many algorithms take advantage of the QR factorization. So that's it for this video. In our next video, we'll take what we've learned and apply it to linear regressions 
and other types of regressions.